When we talk about energy and consider the human energy field, there's far more to us than we realize. When we think about health, we sometimes only consider our physical bodies. But if we want a healthy, vibrant life, free from pain, sickness and disease, it's important to pay attention to our emotional, mental and spiritual energy bodies as well. From our long-established Oshin School of Bioenergy, based here in Ireland, one of the most popular courses we offer is an online diploma course in bioenergy healing. With this course, you can gain remarkable insights and knowledge into the human energy field, how and why we may become ill, and you can also learn what we can do to help maintain better health. But what is bioenergy healing? I'm delighted to be able to explain to you that there is a lot more to us than our physical bodies. We are surrounded by an electromagnetic field which some called our aura and within this subtle energy field our life force is created. We are made of this energy right down to a cellular level. The aim of bioenergy healing is to apply certain techniques which may help activate the body's own natural healing process. Our bodies want to be healthy and given the right environment and providing we take care of the body's needs at a physical, emotional, mental and spiritual level, our bodies may remain in a relatively healthy state for most of our lives. We have our emotional body. We also have our mental and spiritual bodies. And the principle of bioenergy healing is to help bring a person to a state of homeostasis, mentally, physically, emotionally and spiritually. If you feel you would like to learn more about our courses, be guided by your intuition and contact us today to download our full course layout completely free. Learn many self-healing techniques and what you can do to help yourself and others to have better health and well-being. You can be assured that from our learning centre you will be given all the resources, information and backup service to assist you all the way throughout your course and afterwards. Our team are available whenever you need help and it gives a great understanding how it works and it makes me very comfortable to, to do that for my own future and helping friends, family and hopefully many more people there. I really enjoyed this energy healing course. The facilitators held nothing back in all of the information that they presented in a very easy to understand fashion. The videos in particular I found to be so informative I'm looking forward to starting up my own healing energy business and becoming a professional practitioner in the near future. If you want to be healthy, stress-free or reduce levels of anxiety or pain, take your first step today into bioenergy healing and a career in the ever-expanding health and wellness industry. Hi, I'm John Donoghue. Welcome to the Bioenergy Healing Training Course. First, let us explain about the layout of the course. This course is accessible 24-7 on PC, tablet or mobile phone. To begin, if you wish, you can download a zip file, which includes six free CDs. These can be saved as audio files to listen to whenever you want. You can also download the best-selling ebook Be Your Own Therapist by Patricia Hessnan, one of the co-founders and a tutor here at our training school. We recommend that you save this for viewing at any time in the future. This complete bioenergy healing training course features over 90 practical video lectures and demonstration videos. The first lecture introduces you to the history of bioenergy healing. 
we then describe the principle of bioenergy healing and how it works. The next lecture talks about how illness may manifest in the body and how illness sometimes may be related to an emotional issue. Then there is a lecture on how to conduct a therapy session and this lecture gives many guidelines and instructions to follow in order to adopt a professional approach to a therapy session as you work as a practitioner. The next lecture is called How to Feel and Sense Energy. This gives you an introduction to discovering how to build up the energy between your two hands and how to create an energy ball. It also helps you to discover the amazing power we all have in our own bodies and in our energy fields. It is important to remember that energy is energy, wherever it comes from, and the energy that we work with for healing the body can be integrated and combined with sound healing and many sound healing instruments, such as Tibetan singing bowls, Chinese and other types of gongs, tuning forks, plus other sound sources, including your own voice. The next lecture describes the human spinal chart and elaborates with suggested bioenergy flows which can be used for problems that may be related to the back and spine. The next set of lectures is an introduction to some real-life case studies. It can be helpful to watch these video lectures featuring eight different case studies. These are a cross-section of typical scenarios that you may be presented with and are based on a small number of our own documented experiences dealing with a variety of different real-life scenarios. When you study the techniques and applications which follow shortly, you will be able to see how the various bioenergy techniques can be applied to help the healing process in individual case studies. We then have a lecture on distant healing, explaining how these same techniques and applications may be used whilst working with a patient or client many miles away or even in a different country. We then have a complete set of lectures on the subject of dowsing, also known as divining. We cover many areas of dowsing, including how to select and use a pendulum, how to clear pendulums and how to find your own yes and no answer responses from a pendulum. We also show you how you can make your own pendulum from a small piece of wood or wire or a branch of a tree. There are special dowsing charts which you can make up for dowsing for food sensitivities and checking a person's chakras. You can of course also douse to find water or find lost objects or find geopathic stress that may be affecting the health of a person in a house or building or an area of land. And we also cover an unusual and unique method of divining called map dowsing. This is followed by some interesting self-help, self-healing video lectures. The next set of lectures describe the human energy field and the seven main chakras, including the base chakra, sacral chakra, solar plexus chakra, the heart chakra, throat chakra, third eye chakra, and the crown chakra. These lectures talk about the emotional body, clearing and balancing chakras, 
and how the continued suppression of emotions may ultimately have an effect on the physical body. You will notice that if you are required to deal with emotional issues, you will be working on the chakras related to the particular emotion presented by the client. If you are required to work with a physical problem, you will be using combinations of different techniques in combinations which we call applications. Sometimes during a therapy session you may be applying techniques for a physical problem and may also need to work on a particular chakra for an emotional issue that may be related to this physical problem. We now start to describe all the techniques. Techniques are various hand movements and hand positions. Sometimes these hand positions are placed directly on the person's body. In other techniques, the hand positions are held off the body. Some techniques, such as Technique E, which is called the Energize Technique, is generally applied with the hands placed gently on the person's body to help direct an energy flow between the energy point in the palm of one hand and the energy point in the palm of the other hand, sending this flow of energy through a joint, limb, organ or gland. With other techniques, the hands are creating movements such as stimulating, clearing, balancing, drawing out or dragging out. There are 26 techniques altogether and we have listed them alphabetically A, B, C, D, E, F and so on. This makes it easier to remember and you can see that some techniques are applied in almost every health scenario and some techniques are used only in specific circumstances. For instance, there are four techniques A plus B plus C and D. These are applied at the start of every session. And there are five techniques I, J, K, L and M. These are all feet techniques which are applied at the very end of each and every therapy session. When you first start viewing the techniques you will need to view them in their respective order, starting with A, B, C, D, E and so on. When you come to the end of each technique video, simply click continue with the course, which you will see at the bottom of the screen. In which case, the next video will then be available for you to view right through to the last one, Z. This last technique, Z, is called psychokinesis. This is a very special technique where we show you the power of the human energy field which can move another person at a distance using the energy fields of your two hands. When you have watched the techniques videos one after the other to the end. You can then watch them randomly in any order you wish afterwards. This is then followed by the next set of lectures called applications. Applications are a combination of two or more techniques which are combined and used to help with a variety of health issues. You will notice that there is a list of various health concerns and again these have been placed in alphabetical order, starting off 
with A for ankle, B for babies, back, bladder, and so on. The first one is the application for an ankle problem. As mentioned earlier, you will always begin each therapy session with techniques A, B, C plus D. Then use the application listed here for the specific health concern. For instance, the ankle or any joint such as the shoulder, elbow, wrist, knee and so on uses a combination of two techniques. E, the energize technique, plus N, the draw out technique. You then complete the therapy session using the end techniques I, J, K, L and M on the person's feet to help ground them and finish the session. You will see many application headings for health concerns listed here one after the other, including applications for babies, bladder, or colon problems, ears, gallbladder, heart, kidneys, liver, stomach, finally finishing off with the application for the wrist. At the end of the course, we will have a short 10 question exam. This is to allow the course tutors to monitor your progress and encourage you to take notice of the important aspects of the course information. You are advised to watch all the videos, paying special attention to the videos on techniques and applications, as questions will be asked regarding key points from this course. 9 out of 10 questions answered correctly scores a 90% success and a pass. We now wish you well and hope you enjoy the course. Hi, I'm John Donohue. Welcome to the Biosound Healing Training Course. First, let us explain about the layout of the course. This course is accessible 24-7 on PC, tablet or mobile phone. To begin, if you wish, you can download a zip file which includes six free CDs. These can be saved as audio files to listen to whenever you want. You can also download the best-selling e-book Be Your Own Therapist by Patricia Hessnan, one of the co-founders and a tutor here at our training school. We recommend that you save this for viewing at any time in the future. This complete Biosound Healing training course features over 60 practical video lectures and demonstration videos. The first lecture is called How Sound May Heal the Body. This video describes how the sounds and vibrations from a Tibetan singing bowl can have an effect on the body by means of entrainment. We then have a lecture called Healing with Sound and Music describing how the vibrations and sounds of healing instruments or certain music can produce a healing effect in the body. Next, we have a lecture describing the spinal chart and the vertebral column, and the nerves from the vertebrae which supply organs and glands. Plus, we talk about recommended flows for the back and spine. The next video describes sound healing instruments such as the Tibetan singing bowl, crystal quartz bowl, tuning forks, Chinese and moon gongs, rain sticks, koshi wind chimes and the human voice. This next video lecture 
gives a brief description of the human energy field or biofield which permeates and surrounds the human body, plus a brief description of the seven main chakras or energy vortexes of the body. The next video lecture describes how the body may contract and tighten as it reacts to pain, stress or injury, which in turn may have an effect on organs, glands, tissue and cells. We now introduce four case studies. We have included these case studies here to give you guidelines for dealing with a cross-section of possible scenarios that you may be presented with. These may be helpful for you as examples of the variety of health concerns where you may be presented with health issues related to physical problems only. In this case, you can apply combinations of different techniques which we call applications. Alternatively, you may be presented with a person suffering from emotional issues, in which case you apply chakra work on the particular chakra or chakras associated with the particular emotion. You may also be presented with a situation where a person may be suffering with physical and emotional concerns in which case you apply the relevant techniques and applications for the physical problem and you also apply the relevant chakra clearing and balancing techniques as demonstrated in the videos in the section on chakras. We then have a lecture which describes distant healing and how to apply bioenergy healing therapy to the sacral chakra prior to applying sound healing therapy to a person's colon plus the overall body using a Tibetan singing bowl. You will notice that the same approach, including techniques and applications, are applied during a distant healing session, as applied during a one-to-one -one live therapy session. The next lecture describes the recommended guidelines and instructions to follow when conducting any sound healing or bioenergy healing therapy session. In this lecture, we explain how to apply dowsing or divining methods to help select the most suitable sound healing instruments to use for various health concerns or for chakra closures or imbalances. The next video lecture discusses the importance of focusing your attention and being aware at all times of your intent during a sound healing therapy session. This video describes the fundamental basis of vibroacoustic sound healing therapy, very often used for to help with pain management, using low frequency audio files which create sound vibrations which the client or patient can feel as well as audibly hear through a special sound healing therapy table. In this video lecture, we explain the many different instruments that can be used for sound healing. And of course, any musical instrument may be used for sound healing purposes. The next lecture is an interview and discussion between John Donohoe, the main tutor at Oshin School of Bioenergy, and Graham Goff, a sound healing therapist, on the secrets to successful sound healing therapy. In the next set of lectures, we describe how sound healing instruments can be used to help clear and balance the chakras including drumming rhythms and voice toning. We then have a number of demonstration video lectures using crystal quartz singing bowls in the seven main keys believed to be associated with the seven main chakras. The root chakra, the sacral chakra, the solar plexus chakra, the heart chakra, the throat chakra, the third eye chakra and the crown chakra. This video lecture 
describes various types of tuning forks and how they can be used to assist with sound healing therapy. This lecture describes the use of Chinese gongs in a sound healing situation, commonly referred to as a gong bath. In this section, we demonstrate cymatics, where you can visually observe the effect that sound vibrations can have on solid substances, such as sand. This section discusses how the body may react to an accident, injury or stress. In this section, we demonstrate cymatics, where you can visually observe the effect that sound vibrations can have on water. In this section, we explain how you can make your own sound healing therapy table and how this can be fitted with sound transducers to create powerful low frequency vibrations or could be used for vibroacoustic therapy. When a sound healing therapy table is used in this manner, the client or patient can feel as well as hear the sound vibrations. We now come to the sections called applications. In the following video lectures, we demonstrate how bioenergy therapy techniques are combined with sound healing techniques. This combination is called biosound applications. So far, we have explained bioenergy healing techniques, particularly for use with the chakras for possible emotional issues. We also explained about different sound healing instruments and how they may be used in a sound healing therapy situation. The combination of these two powerful modalities, bioenergy and sound therapy, is called biosound therapy. And this combination of techniques is demonstrated in these sections called applications. In these sections, you can learn how to apply this unique combination of techniques for problems that may be related to the back and spine, to joints such as the shoulders, elbows, wrists, hips, knees, ankles and so on, and also to organs, glands and other areas of the body. At the end of the course, we will have a short 10 question exam. This is to allow the course tutors to monitor your progress and encourage you to take notice of the important aspects of the course information. You are advised to watch all the videos, paying special attention to the videos on techniques and applications, as questions will be asked regarding key points from this course. 9 out of 10 questions answered correctly scores a 90% success and a pass. We now wish you well and hope you enjoy the course. Hi, I'm John Donohue. First, let us explain about the layout of the course. This course is accessible 24-7 on PC, tablet or mobile phone. To begin, if you wish, you can download a zip file which includes six free CDs. These can be saved as audio files to listen to whenever you want. You can also download the best-selling ebook Be Your Own Therapist by Patricia Hesnan, one of the co-founders and a tutor here at our training school. We recommend that you save this for viewing at any time in the future. This complete self-healing training course features over 57 practical video lectures and demonstration videos. 
The first lecture is a description of the history of bioenergy and energy healing in general, dating back to our ancient ancestors and before. The next lecture is a description of the principle of bioenergy and energy healing, how it works and why it works, and also describes similar laws of physics called entrainment. We then have a lecture describing the human energy field and chakras. The next lecture describes how the body may react to pain or injury. We then have two lectures, one of which talks about intent during self-healing, and the other talks about focusing your mind during a self-healing session. The next lectures are three case studies with suggested self-healing recommendations which may help when dealing with health issues such as irritable bowel, panic attacks, stress, headaches, sinus problems and aches and pains. The next six lectures are narrated stories covering a variety of different scenarios in life with self-empowering guidance. Then we have a lecture about how illness may manifest in the body. Next, there is a lecture explaining the spinal chart and the human vertebrae, followed by a lecture explaining in more detail about anxiety and panic attacks. There is then two lectures on self-healing techniques called How to Heal My Body and Soul and one to help boost the energy in your body. Then there is a lecture on mindfulness followed by some simple Qigong exercises and then abdominal breathing exercises. There is a lecture showing how to feel and sense energy in your hands and in your body. The next few lectures are all about dowsing for health, using pendulums and divining rods. We then have a number of lectures involving the use of sound healing instruments for self-healing, including Tibetan singing bowls, tuning forks, Chinese gong, and how you can use your own voice for healing and in particular how to help heal your throat chakra. This is followed by several lectures, including self-healing techniques for the joints, the liver, nose and sinuses, plus many other health concerns. When you have completed this self-healing course, you can download your own personalized self-healing certificate of completion. It has never been easier to learn the secrets to energy healing which you can apply for your own self-healing of limbs, joints, organs, glands and for injuries to your body and techniques for clearing and balancing your own chakras using both bioenergy methods plus sound healing techniques. Now allow yourself to become empowered by developing your own unlimited potential. We now wish you well and hope you enjoy the course. Hi, I'm John Donohue. Welcome to the Animal Bioenergy Healing Training Course. First, let us explain about the layout of the course. This course is accessible 24-7 on PC, tablet or mobile phone. To begin, if you wish, you can download a zip file which includes six free CDs. These can be saved as audio files to listen to whenever you want. You can also download the best-selling e-book Be Your Own Therapist by Patricia Hessnan one of the co-founders and a tutor here at our training school. We recommend that you save this for viewing at any time in the future. 
This complete animal energy healing training course features over 57 practical video lectures and demonstration videos. The first lecture is a description of the history of bioenergy and energy healing in general, dating back to our ancient ancestors and before. The next lecture is a description of the principle of bioenergy and energy healing, how it works and why it works, and also describes similar laws of physics called entrainment. We then have a lecture called Imbalances in Animals' Chakras. Animals' energy fields have areas where this energy appears to be more concentrated and focused. These areas are referred to as chakras or vortexes. The next lectures describe animal energy fields, chakras and organs. First, in a bird then a dog, then a cow, a horse, and finally a cat. Next, we have two case studies. First is a case study about energy healing on a Labrador called Cleo. We then have a case study about energy healing on two small birds. The next lecture describes a typical animal healing session looking at the most commonly used energy healing techniques that may be applied to animals. Then we have a lecture on how to conduct an animal energy healing session with guidelines and recommendations. The next lecture introduces you to the ancient art of dowsing and how you can apply dowsing in a variety of situations and in particular how dowsing is used in relation to animals. Here you will see dowsing with pendulums, divining rods and how to use your own body to douse using the sway test. In the next lecture we describe how to feel and sense the energy in and around your hands, plus a visualization exercise to help you connect with the universal energy field. We now have a section called techniques. Techniques are the various hand movements and hand positions you can use when applying energy healing to animals. You will see that these are listed a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I and J. The next set of lectures are called applications. Applications are used when dealing with specific health problems and these are various combinations of the techniques we listed in the previous lecture. There are a number of practical demonstration video lessons showing applications for a variety of health issues, including problems related to the chakras, the ears, growths and tumours, the heart, the animal's joints and lungs. The next set of lectures are listed under the heading of distant healing. Any of the applications demonstrated in the distant healing sections can also be used and applied to work on an animal directly. Distant healing is a method used to work on an animal, mammal or bird at a distance. This is achieved with the use of a photograph or sample of hair or feathers of the animal, bird or mammal that may be a very long distance away. The sample of hair or feathers or a photograph is then attached to a model of the animal, mammal or bird. The practitioner then carries out the therapy or healing session on this model as if they are working on a live animal. 
The distant healing session describes additional applications, including all the techniques used for health issues, such as the back and spine, the colon, eyes, hips, paws, stomach, and so on. At the end of the course, we will have a short 10 question exam. This is to allow the course tutors to monitor your progress and encourage you to take notice of the important aspects of the course information. You are advised to watch all the videos, paying special attention to the videos on techniques and applications, as questions will be asked regarding key points from this course. 9 out of 10 questions answered correctly scores a 90% success and a pass. We now wish you well and hope you enjoy the course.